Hey everybody, Melda here. So I just want to quickly go into how I created this uh, high detail uh, tennis ball. And uh, I just want to start off by creating a cube and put it into a subdivision surface. And uh, turn this a bit down. And then uh, mark them and right click, connect objects and delete. And if you middle mouse click, you can go into the front view here. And then select the vertices and go up here and make sure that this is off All right, and then choose this one this one and this one and press T to scale so scale these up like this and then go into your perspective mode again and choose these right yes so these around here 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 whoops my bad Oh, this one. Like this. So you have a nice curve around here. All right, and then you can right click and choose bevel. You can also just press MS and then expand this a bit, just like this, and put it into another subdivision surface. Take this down to two and do this again. Connect objects and delete. Then Take this into a spherify or theorify. If you hold down shift, it will get right under it, so it will affect it immediately. All right, put this up to 100% and mark these again and connect objects and delete. And now we have a round ball. All right, so then we want to go into uh, just uh, put this into another one. And if you hold down alt, it will go immediately in and then just disable it for now. Go into here and hold shift and press to on your polygon. All right. So this is not what we want, but um, we could go up to select and ring selection. Then go into this one and this one. All right. So now we have the selection here. What we can then can do is go press D and extrude this inwards. And then if we enable our subdivision surface again, we have a nice tennis ball. All right, so let's get on with the shading. I'm using Redshift for the shading here. So now that we have this selection, go up to Select and Set Selection. That will give us a selection tag, which we can use later to choose uh, the different shader here. So to start by creating the first shader, which is just going to be the green one. All right, let Redshift load here, starting Redshift. Go into the Shader Graph Editor and choose a noise start off by choosing a noise all right and let's just take another one down so let's start with this one and let's do this uh, greenish more yellowish kind of color here one has to be light and one has to be kind of darker so this this is going to be the dark one Let's take them down and make them just so we have a bit more control here. All right, something like this is fine for now. Fire up our uh, Redshift render view here, like this, and uh, enable it. Maybe we just want some basic lighting for now. So just take in a dome light, and uh, let's not enable the background. All right, like this. So let's put on the shader like this and let's put the noise into the diffuse and now we have something all right then let's uh, create a bump here and yes like this and let's take the noise into this bump and take the bump into the overall and bump input. Now we're gonna get some bump. All right. So let's just uh, for now take uh, just copy this. And if we go into our selection here, what we can do is just if we add this material into here, so we don't need to go into our selection actually. So choose this material. This is gonna be like this one here, the white, 
and let's take the selection tag we created earlier and put it down here and then let's make this white so delete the colors like this and we want this bump to be and the, the whole noise here to be a bit smaller so go into our noise settings and here into the coordinates and let's take this up yeah like this and like this all right and we need to do that i guess a bit here also so maybe some and you just have to play around to have something you like i guess this is fine for now we can always give it more love later on but this is just to get the basics all right and let's maybe uh, turn the roughness a bit up both uh, in the green material and in the white material probably more even here all right something like this and then let's choose let's just close this for now because it can get a bit hairy hairy right now oh fuck it let's just uh, let's just keep it open and uh, select the uh, choose your se selection tag here again and uh, if we press u and i we can invert the selection so now we don't have the middle here and then go up to simulate here objects and add here and now we get some funky I say oh shit it's doing this all right so I got this mistake before I think what we need to do is just go into here and maybe choose the, a new selection so what we can do is choose everything maybe and go up to select ring selection and hold down control to not choose these and let's try again maybe this will work here objects add here yes this fix it all right I, I don't know why it's doing that it's just doing that so if we go make sure to have these selected and go down to create redshift and then a hair material this will automatically choose like link up these two materials the standard cinema 40 hair material so we can just do all our changes in here all right go up to the the hair objects here and let's turn this down to like 11 or 12 maybe yeah something like this all right let's just turn the segments down a bit we don't need the, those uh, so much so many segments let's take this up to 10,000 all right and in the cloner here we're gonna choose maybe five i think for now yeah let's try that oops all right maybe turn the, the dome light down a bit it's getting a crazy rim light oh fuck it yeah oh well maybe just do a, a whole nother lighting setup here just a, a physical sun let's uh, turn the lighting up a bit more right something like this maybe just turn the dome light on again and just turn it a bit more down so it's only giving like a small lighting all right so now we're getting something but it's still ugly as fudge so go into the hair material here and choose the thickness set this down to probably like 0 0.1 and the same was over here probably even less so 0 yeah like this i think this is better and then we need this the color here to get be green or the yellowish green kind of thing a dark one and a light one as well as in the noise something like this is fine for now and the specular probably do something green as well something like this Oh, it's maybe a bit too much. And then we need some, probably some, some kink and some fresh. All right, we're def definitely starting to get some here, but it's n it's clearly not enough. So I think we need to go into the hair shader. 
let's turn the clone up to eight. All right, we just need to play a bit around with the settings now. So let's go into the thickness again, take this up to maybe 0 0.5, 0 0.05 or something like that. Yeah, now we're getting a bit more and let's turn the, I think the clones up to 10. Yeah, now we're getting a bit, a bit better. And maybe turn the, this one even a bit lower. So we don't need the length to be like this. Alright. Let's put on some curl. Let's go into the material here again and play a bit more around with some details. So let's turn the complexity up here, which just makes it, it look a bit better than noise. Let's do it here as well and in the bump. All right, in the green shader, let's maybe just play a bit around with, with the size of this. So do we want it like smaller like this? No, probably not. Maybe the bump needs to be a bit. Yeah, definitely better. Maybe even turn the bump up a bit more. And then the reflection a bit down. So now we have something. I, uh, I think I put on some AO in the original one. So the ambient occlusion. And you need to put this into the overall overall. And if we just uh, make the output uh, at the exact surface, we can see the result here. And it's a bit easier to, to change. So as you can see, it's giving like the, the surface shadow down here. All right, something like this is probably fine. All right, we have some pretty good detail now. I definitely like this. So when you then go close and add a camera, go into the camera here and choose the bouquet and choose the focus distance. Just set it here. Let's see. Now we're getting some pretty good details here. For show. So it's like it's not really shaded in here or what? Or it's just a, it's just a shadow. So it's definitely, this is uh, how I did it. All right, oh, I wanna go ahead and end it here. Uh, if you want some like more details, just go ahead and play around with some of the settings and you can get different looks and maybe get some more, even more detail in here. Thanks for watching.